Arthur, how the hell did you get up there? How do you do? Yeah, he looks he's definitely got a mountain man beard going. Hello, sir. Howdy, man. Alrighty, yeah, we're back in Red Dead. It's single player, not multiplayer. I decided that I wanted to get going with some more of the multiplayer. Uh, I'm going to start it off with dealing with Charles. We're going to go to the park real quick. Arthur did just get back from the islands after all. Beg your pardon. way the best way to get rich is to read about it in my book this is the veritable bible of success my friends this book will make you the person you have always wanted to be get rich, rich quick bully. hello mister hello friend do you want to be rich sure i'll take one that'll be fifty dollars fifty dollars for a book and cheap at the price. You read this, and you'll want to give me a hundred more. Forget about it. Huh. Well, you're lost, buddy. Listen. Listen to me, friends. This book, this precious <laughs> tome, this passport to earthly paradise, I have written it for you. Can I so that you it? can be like me, a rich, happy, successful Fine. man who is now dedicating his life to helping those with the wisdom to help themselves. Yes, I'll buy it because I'm, I'm, I'm interested in what the hell it does. An American philanthropist. I only help those who help themselves. Help themselves how, I hear you ask? Help themselves by reading this book. Read this book and save yourself. You'll live free from worry about money. You'll be in a mansion, not the workhouse. Your children will grow up wealthy and supercilious, not street urchins and thieves. Think about it. Think about you want freedom. You want happiness. You need money. It's all right here. Oh, come on, let me... If you wouldn't mind taking a step or two back. Buy my book! Me. Read my book! Hey, Do buddy. exactly yes, what I say hey. and you'll be hey. rich! Rich, rich, rich! Top hats! You should be the careful finest you canes! Speak too expensive <laughs> cigars! A wife with soft hands! A hundred servants, a mansion, a summer house by a northern lake. Le perdona, eh? Hold it and more if you're man enough to take it. I'm man enough. Part of me wishes I would have actually bought that book because I wanted to see what was in it. Because I bet you it's fucking hilarious. Come on in. Be clear, mister. I only want to be to this. and clean. Let's try to find a good one.
Now that isn't half bad, huh? Ah, suits you. That'll work. Please, tell your friends about us. Thank you. Now, go to Charles. Get on up with. I didn't expect that. What are you dressed up like that for? Oh, I am a wanted man, persecuted for my art. As bad as it is, I don't think that the art is the problem. In Paris, they say leave, go far away. We will never understand you here. I say, I go to Saint Denis. They say that is not far enough. <laughs> it seems to me that they were right. But it doesn't matter. Now, I go to South Pacific. They always tell me the light there is perfect for my work. Well, so long as they weren't telling you that just to get you on the other side of the world. Perhaps. It doesn't matter. Help me get to the next ship. They are watching the port, and I need a chaperone. <sighs> okay, come on. Oh. I'll tell you what I want, miss. Civilization, so oppressive, so stifling, I can hardly breathe in this city. Yeah, I kind of know what you mean. Why I thought I would find my way in a country founded by Puritans, I'll never know. I met this man. I shot on that bar. Quick, behind here. We stay behind here. Remind me to avoid that place. Back, back. See money lenders. We go another way. A man owes us money. We go through here. What's this? Quickly! <gasps> I knew him. Please do not do that again. <laughs> do not do that again. It's a good way to get shot. <laughs> Evening, Miss. So, wait. You ain't so none of your work. There is always a heavy demand for fresh mediocrity, but new kinds of brilliance. Not so much. The new kinds of. The whole in the We go from there. Where are you going, pretty lady? Anywhere you want, mon ami. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Anywhere you want, mon ami. To the end of the docks. of life was to be liked. It would be very boring indeed. I've developed the feeling the purpose ain't to be hated. 
hate, love, they are the same. I provoke, I challenge, I amuse, do I not? With my impropriety, a mediocre life is meaningless. A bold life filled with art and truth, dirty truth, that is something that matters. Look at you, pretty little thing. Hello, boys. Come on. <laughs> he's enjoy he's enjoying himself. <laughs> Idiot. I hope the sailors know who they're bunking with. We have many weeks together. We will get to know each other well. Well, good luck to all of you. Relax. Hey, up here. She is my ship. It's a cheat. <laughs> Punched like eight times. So long. If they don't like you in the islands, keep on going to the South Pole. Ah, yes. I hear there the light is really fantastic. Ah, au revoir. <laughs> Crap. Time to make myself scarce. How I survived that. I should go buy stuff like that. I really need to get my provision satchel made. Yep. Not where I meant to go, but. Sir? Nice hat. Go 
pay off a bounty real fast. Hello there and welcome. Nothing like a fresh start. Thank you for your help. Go and... Come up with some like uh <coughs> 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 Oh Mister, are you okay? Mister, are you okay? Are you okay, mister? <laughs> mister, you, you don't look so good. Let's get you to a doctor. You head in there, friend. Go on. Can I help you? Doc, I, I need a doctor. Oh, uh, just one second, sir. Come in, pal. Come in. I need some help. And so it seems. <coughs> and that's Dr. Mister to you. I'm sorry. Uh, I was joking. Well, look, friend, I don't mean nothing, but you got money? I mean, before I start treating you, because I got a family. Yeah, I understand. Here, that did. Uh, sure. Thank you. Now, what's wrong? I mean, what appear to be the symptoms? Well, I think you've heard them and I'm coughing. Well, is there any blood? Sometimes. Uh -huh. Okay, now here. Breathe. Again. Yeah. Let me see your tongue. I say ah. Ah. What is it? Not good news. Well, I guess that. You got tuberculosis. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. What do you mean? You're real sick. You. It's a progressive disease. And you'll be. Now, the best thing is rest. And getting somewhere warm and dry and taking it easy. Now, is that possible? Sure, I can just take my winters in my country club in California. No, it's not possible. Well, like I said, I, I'm real sorry. Yeah, well. Yeah, oh, wait, wait. Uh, let me get you a little bit more energy today.
what's done. We can only move on. You have it in you, I can tell. Remember, you pathetic little humans require H2O to survive. Definitely. Yeah, Arthur needs it most. Alright, now. Cheers. Yeah, basically the effectiveness of everything is... Howdy howdy! Harvest, how's it going? Playing Factorio or Move. what you playing? Excuse me. Hey. All right, I kind of figured it out. The fighters are not happy with you. That's a fun game and all. I just never could quite get into it. Talk to Sadler. <coughs> mm. Any problems coming in? Nah. Guess they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. Well, at least you're alive. For now, yeah. 
What happened in... Um... Guama? Yeah. <coughs> Nothing nice. What happened to Dutch? Because he seems... I don't know. Seems as... What began happening in Blackwater began happening years ago, maybe. A slow decline, I guess. What do you mean? I ain't quite sure. What happened here? I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. And Hosea? So that too. Hell, we got Lenny's body out as well. Tribe the morgue and buried them together. Follow me. So, what's your plan here? Well, I figure before we do anything, we need to make sure John's even still at this prison. And how do we do that? We need to get up high enough to get a proper look at the place. But it's on an island, ain't it? Unless you're planning on learning how to fly. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found us a hot air balloon. You ain't serious. Yeah, or whatever you call him. He thinks we're just in it for a lesson. Bit of a tour. <laughs> He's quite the character. I think you'll like him. You know, I'm impressed. You really stepped things up, ain't you? Hey, we didn't know if you was even coming back. Whole thing hit folks real hard. You can see it. Heron's gone fallen fully into the bottle. Strauss is a bag of nerves. Swanson, well, Swanson's actually gone and cleaned up his act. So I guess it ain't all gone to shit. I'm just happy you boys were able to find us. Javier said he got the letter I left at the post office. That was a good idea. Until the Pinkerton showed up. Oh, by the way, I've been hunting O'Driscoll boys. Killed two of the sons of bitches at a campsite last week. What? Yeah. Seems they've drifted down this way now. You're a busy woman, Sandy Adler. Oh, she a beauty, ain't she? From here on the ground, yes. Mr. Bullard? Hmm. Mr. Bullard. Ah, uh, Mrs. Adler. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Ah, uh, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Morgan. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullard. At your service, sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well, it's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today, and Icarus would have made it across the sea. Ha, ha, ha. Have you ever flown before, sir? No. Oh, well, it's quite a thing. Quite a thing. Now, put these on and hop in. Well, ain't she coming? Ah, well, women can't fly, sir. Are you insane? We can. Oh, no, sir. It does terrible damage to them, to their vapors. I thought everyone knew about that. Why, a delicate flower like Mrs. Adler? <laughs> Heavens above or below. Ah. Where'd you find this guy? I told you you two would get on. <clears throat> Are you sure about this? Certain, sir. Quite certain. Mrs., let us away. <clears throat> Wish us luck. I've only crashed twice. Now, uh, pull on that rope uh, and hope for the best. Ah! You boys have fun. How did you get out of this? <laughs> okay, here goes nothing. Right, time to catch a few vapors of our own. It's a little overcast, but I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. We should still have some decent views over the river. One hates to be coarse, but on the subject of ablutions, liquids over the side, solids, do your utmost to levy the situation until we land. Okay, Mr. Bullard. I had a client once who fell foul to a rotten oyster on the ascent. A decidedly harrowing experience for all involved. <laughs> Keep going, <laughs> Bombs away, you quite literally. It really is stunning up there. You'll have seen nothing like it. Oh, wow. All right, then. 
Okay, that's cool. Heavenly indeed. Quite remarkable, isn't it? Feels like we have a nice westerly wind, so keep her around this height. This particular vessel is state of the art, sir. Imported from Europe. Won't find more than a couple of these on this side of the pond. So long as it works. You sure you shouldn't be doing this? at all. A child could operate this with a little supervision. Besides, Mrs. Adler told me you were very keen to learn the ropes. We have plenty of those. She did, did she? Arthur and Arturo. How perfect is this? My mother was a keen student of the Italian eight. My brother's called Baldassario, so you could say I got off lane. Look, I'm trying to concentrate here. Ah, that's better. Look, we can see from miles now. Did you breakfast in the city this morning, Mr. Morgan? Not exactly. Well, I have a boiled egg in my pocket here that you're very welcome to. I think I'm all right, thank you. I have a Recall boiled egg in my pocket. Discussion. Well, just say the word. I have a boiled egg in my pocket. So, if I may ask, what got you interested in the pursuit of aviation? I didn't, exactly. Uh, Mrs. Adler thought she'd surprise me. Ah, oh, a very nice woman. And no shrinking violet. Definitely not. I prefer slightly more feminine attire on a lady, but variety is the very spice of life, as they say. Or is it, though? Did you know they locked up the man who wrote that in a mental asylum? I did not, Mr. Pollard. See that building up ahead on the island? That's the infamous Sisica Penitentiary. We shouldn't fly too near to it, though, sir. Sorry, we're going in for a closer look. What do you mean? Mr. Morgan, please, this is most irregular. Well, you want a happy customer, don't you? Look, this isn't funny, Adam. What on earth are you doing? The guards are bound to spot us. Calm down. They won't care if we stay high enough. But I'm just looking for a friend of mine. A friend? Poor bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I heard they got him working the fields in a chain gang. Dear God. unusual. Relax, Mr. Bullard. Take over. Keep us well away. I'll do my best. This filly isn't the easiest to control, That's you know. not him. Should we, uh, think about heading back? That ain't John. There he is.
Mr. Bullard, get up. Good Lord, my heart is pounding. <sighs> I must say, the specifics of this job were not described to me at all sufficiently. Well, it's done now. <laughs> Mrs. Adler? Where? Being chased. Yes. Try and get us near. Will there be more trouble, sir? I expect so. I'm starting to rather enjoy this. Hey! Safe! Up here! <laughs> no one expects the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> Great shot.
these bastards! Stay out of trouble for one goddamn hour. You got that poor bastard killed for his troubles. I kind of liked him. They got Comb, the government. They got Comb O'Driscoll. They're gonna hang him in San Denis. Hang him? Okay. Mm -mm. He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No, he won't, because we're gonna make sure of it. I... We have our own problems with the law, in case you ain't noticed. Dutch will want to see him swing. Sure, Dutch. He wouldn't even help us with Marston. And our situation is really messed up right now. You know how things is. Bastard's gonna swing. I'm gonna make sure of it. Closely followed by Marston. You saw him? Yes, in the fields. Okay. Then we go rescue him. <coughs> from a state penitentiary? No. But from the fields? Yes. That we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. No, it's not behind bars. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. I guess. It's best just the two of us go. <coughs> the two of us is all there is, anyhow. Good, because two is all we'll need. I'll get us a boat, a little one, and we'll sneak in and get him out of there. Meet me at Copperhead Landing. Thank you, Arthur. Whatever you say, boss. I heard that. <laughs> I heard that. I like her. I really like Miss Sadler. She's easily one of my favorites. Hollywood, take note. That's how you do a strong female character. I'm both joking and not joking at the same time about her. That's, those are the kind of strong female characters that, uh, like, take my sister, for instance. My sister loves Miss Sattler, Adler as well. Because she's strong. She's just a strong person in general. I don't want me to get preachy, but... You know, I kind of am. Oh, Jesus. That one's hitting the eye. Oh. I'll see where you're shot. Cheek. Kind of sad. I wish I could fly this thing more. It's cool. Yep.
Salmon. Whoa, okay. Sakai salmon. I found fourteen out. Online, I really want a fishing uh, where we can buy boats and stuff like that. I want a fishing roll. Not too much to ask. I love fishing. Reason in the summertime I keep a fishing pole in the back of my car. Another sockeye. Well, look at you. Over five pounds? Yeah, you can stay. Alright, catch one more. Keeping you, I'm afraid. Yep. Working on a whole new batch. Had some ideas after last time. Oh, it's you guys again. Got a whole new recipe. Gonna be so much better than the last one. Let me tell you. We could really use some of the plant life growing nearby. You think you'd be able to help forage for it? Sure. Why not? I saw some milkweed nearby. Milkweed's got these uh, clusters of little pink flowers. Let's see, milkweed's usually by the river, so. Sage. Maybe 
that's it over there. Back here, you little shit. A muskrat? Yeah, it was a muskrat. I freaking muskrat just attacked me. Mad at all animal kind <laughs> now. Oh, there's a canoe right there. Crap. Burdock root? Yeah. Shit. Where the hell am I gonna find it? Well, they said in local areas, so maybe I've gone too far away. Dusty little particulates. That's not it. They're bush. They're elderberries? No, oh, they're uh, huckleberries. There we are. Tell me this is it right here. Yep. I walked right past it twice. So 
what's on the menu? Toss what you got in the mix and we'll give it a taste. Well, all right. Here goes nothing. with shine not at all tastes like licking liniment <laughs> uh, that ain't good at all ah oh, well can't win them all we'll try again later damn well i ain't miserly you got us something at least grab some shine in that chest very generous thanks Yes. That's that, then. There, girl. Another muskrat. There we go. I'm gonna skin this. Maybe we might be able to make something for satchels out of it. Uh, I think I still need a perfect raccoon pelt. Probably should be looking for one. Don't think we can find raccoons here. But I might go back to towards Valentine and stuff like that, see if I can't find one. not get close to something that's angry and dying. Oh, I ran over a little rat. Oh, don't put it in your sat. Oh, I, did, I didn't think of that. Shouldn't have done that. I'll grab this vanilla flower. Whatever flower it is. I think this is a vanilla flower. Star Orchid. I'm sorry, little bear buddy. Oh, 
always feel bear bad right next to the rat. I always feel bad killing bears. Uh, I think I love them. I love bears so much. A perfect pelt, though. Even wash the blood off now? Well, we're back. That was some coming home party. We need to get out of here. I'll speak to Dutch. Get that Relax. <laughs> yeah. Dutch is back in his finery. I'd like to be for class. You okay there? Fine. Working it all out. Once and for all, Arthur. Mm. What now? We're back. And I'm sitting here. And I am contemplating the great journey of the sun and considering a famous chess move. Those oily enactors of a mediocre justice, the Pinkertons, and their benefactor, the depressing millionaire, Leviticus Cornwall, they want us, Arthur. They want us. And they are going to have us. Well, maybe they ain't the problem. Meaning? I don't know. It's just, well, I can't help but feel we would have been better running off someplace else. Oh, but the, the game ain't over, Arthur. I mean, I ain't, I ain't played my... My final move, but I guess I'm more interested in saving lives than winning a chess. And maybe life ain't such a thing to cling on to so tightly, no doubt. What about the women? You sound like Hosea. I miss him. I asked you a question. What do you think? We can't stay here. That much is obvious. Where are we gonna run to? I mean, they chased us from the west. They chased us over the mountains. They ran us into the sea. Arthur, do you have my back? Always, Dutch. It was up to me, it'd be a no. To go back to worry about. We need more money. We've been on the run for months now, and I've seen you killing folk in cold blood like you always told me not to, and I'm sorry, but I can't help but think that if we just... There is country in Roanoke Ridge past Butcher Creek. I believe we could hold. Okay. You and Charles, you could take folks up that way. Micah and I need to do some reconnaissance. I ain't got a final plan yet. Arthur, I ain't got it. I just need time. I need time and no traitors. No plane, just a rat chasing his tail. If I'm honest. Uh, I'm Charles. Be right with me. Always. Where are we headed? Up past Butcher Creek. It's Murphy Brew Country. That's why I'm asking you to ride with me. I understand. <laughs> Alright. No revolver. Shotgun. Hold up. Even the law won't follow us up there too willingly. Yeah, I did some scouting up there while your boys were away. And? Hmm. You'll see. I know the way. Follow me. We need to get this done fast. Pinkertons will have reinforced in another day or two. Yeah, the sooner we get out of here, the better. I rather like the swamp. Quite a ride up there. 
I saw some canoes near the bridge up river, which would take us right up to Butcher Creek. Might be quicker. What do you think? I say we just ride it. It ain't worth messing around with boats. Okay, sure. It's good to see you again, Charles. You too. Thanks for what you did in San Denis. Real brave drawing them off us like that. I was worried you and Abigail had both got yourselves killed. I found a spot to lie low for a while, then managed to get a ride with a wagon of workers heading out to the fields. Abigail said she somehow managed to slip away when they grabbed Isaiah. You did good getting the others out of there, keeping everyone together. Everybody was pretty shaken up when I got back to Shady Bell. Uh, it was a tough few days. I couldn't have done it without Sadie. So how did you find that spot back there? I assume the skulls on sticks weren't an addition of yours. <laughs> Old Strauss knew about it. The locals are terrified of the place, so we figured that might buy us some time. And it did. Until one of you brought the law with you. And where did you end up again? Cuba? Oh, uh, not exactly. An island off of there, called Warma. Landed ourselves in a heap of trouble. Really? A tropical island? Isn't that just what Dutch wanted? Uh, I guess it didn't exactly live up to his ideals. Anyway, I ain't always sure Dutch knows what he wants anymore. Perhaps not, but he's always managed to figure things out in the past. I know. You're right. Just... It's been... Uh, I guess I just miss Hosea and his uh, wisdom, you know? Of course. I guess I don't have any meat of my own. Not much further now. So, I spent some time up this way while you were gone. I ran into Rainsfall and Eagle Flies, the Indians. And I've been trying to help out a bit where I can at the reservation. Things are bad there. Uh, that's not a surprise. They seem to be in a lot of trouble heading into more. Some men there spoke a lot about the Murphy gang that hides out in these caves. A place called Beaver Hollow. They're animals. Everyone is terrified of them. Just recently, a stagecoach from Annisburg disappeared without a trace coming through here. Great. Dutch didn't mention this. Well, hiding up here. It's not a crazy idea. This is a spot nobody comes near, even the law. But just be ready. It won't be pretty. You see that up ahead? Slow down, keep it quiet. It could be some of them.
Must be. Maybe we dismount here and follow them on foot. See where they're going. Follow me, stay quiet. Oh, <laughs> grab my bow. Nice. Let's get closer to him. That was a perfect raccoon. I would have thrown it all away just to shoot it. Come on. Up this way. Definitely Murphy's. I say we deal with them from here. You take one, I'll take the other. Well, how about I do this? You stop. Good job. Uh, we must be close now. Let's stop and have a look from the top of this hill there. Thanks, Charles, for the tomahawk. Okay. Let's see what's going on. That's the stagecoach we're missing. Jesus. They must be in the cave. All right. Let's get on with this. What you think? We can head into the cave or flush them out with dynamite. Dynamite be safer. Yeah. Let's be quiet and hope they don't come out. Let's get this over with. I want to get rid of this freaking bow. I grab a shotgun. I grabbed a shotgun. It's okay. 
It's okay. Shh. You're safe. Go. Where are you from? Antisburg. What do we do with her? Take her there and I'll go get the others. Sure. Miss, you okay to ride on my horse a little? I'll keep you safe. Now so much for that perfect bear, pal. Annisburg, right? Yes. They... 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 they um... It's okay, miss. The others, they... They killed them. You're safe now. Just... Try to breathe. They're animals. <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> It's all right, miss. Why would they? Some folks is just evil. Ain't no point trying to explain it. I haven't slept in days. I know. What's your name, miss? It's okay. Meredith. You're gonna be home soon, Meredith. And this will all be over. Thank you. Where in Annisburg? One of the mining cottages. Um, <laughs> if you get me to the main street, I can show you from there. Okay. Just try to relax now. That's what leads to PTSD. Back then, head for the main street, back, uh, it'll be easier to walk from there. Back in 1900, they would have called it shell shock. Yes. Oh. Well, thank God. Which place is yours? Up at the top of the hill? It's near the blacksmith. Come on, then. Ma! Ma! Meredith! Oh, she's alive! Oh, she's alive! You saw some pretty bad things, I'm afraid, man. Murphy group got us. Oh, my God. How did you manage uh, to? I just ran into them and found her. Oh, thank you. Here, let me give you this. Oh, that, that's okay, ma'am. You just keep her warm and keep her safe. Mrs. Dow? Oh, no. You leave me alone. You just leave me alone! Thanks, buddy. How you get on? Okay. Found a girl. Took her home. Oh. You and Micah find anything? Maybe. I think maybe. I found our old friend, Mr. Cornwall. You did? Yeah. He's buying a stake in the mine in Annisburg. Relentlessly ambitious fella, isn't he? Micah and I'll sniff about, see if he knows we're here, <laughs> and exactly what his plans are. So, Dodge! 
to miss me? I found her drunk in Saint Denis. You're back. How jolly, Miss it's O'Shea. It's funny, you suck of shit. Back Who and are you? drunk. The master, the Lord Molly, God, all my. Calm down. I won't be ignored. Dutch Vanderlyn, I am in him. I ain't her. I need stooges. Calm yourself. You don't know me nothing. Miss. I don't know you nothing. Nothing. Okay. I spit in your eye. I did. I told them. I'm sorry. Yeah, I told them. I tell them again. Now I've got God's ear. You told who? What? Mr. Milton and Mr. Ross about the bank robbery, and I wanted them to kill you. You did what? I loved you, you goddamn bastard! Go on, shoot She's me! Crazy. She ain't worth it. You told on <laughs> oh, me. You betrayed so me. What? Calm down, Arthur. <laughs> She's a fool. Get her out of here. You know the rules. You are not so big now. Are we, Your Majesty? You. Take her. <laughs> she knew the rules, Arthur. What the hell is wrong with you? Mr. Pearson, Mr. Williamson, get this body out of here and get it burnt. Okay. Now get back to work, all of you. Quit your lollygagging. Right. Get back to work. Yeah. Don't get an honorable burial either. Oh, the darkest chapter. Things are gonna be okay, Jack. Can I go play in the cave? No. I ain't safe from that. I like little Jack. Let's see if we can get through this day. It'll be okay, Strauss. Okay? They shot Molly. And look at this place. Morning. Arthur, don't forget, I'm more than happy to craft you something if you bring me the right materials. Yeah, I need a perfect raccoon and a perfect beaver. Just remember, my items are one of a kind, Mr. Morgan. Uh, I need a perfect beaver, perfect raccoon, perfect panther, perfect elk, badger, perfect squirrel, perfect elk, oh god. Perfect raccoon will probably be the first one I try to go for. I haven't done any craft in the entire game.
I've done like no crafting. Bring me something soon if you can, Arthur. Yeah, doing. Oh yes, I'll be able to make you something out of this. Yes, yes, I understand. Just make sure it goes into the pot and not your pocket. Fine, but make sure you get a good price for it. Can't wait to taste this. This is all I got for you. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Morning. I don't know how many more mornings of this I can take. Well, let me talk to her. Oh, hell. You okay, Tilly? Molly got what she deserved. Nearly got us all killed. <sighs> yep. She knew the rules. Careful the lag anymore. You have to get the strap off of me. Please. You alright? Oh, looks like you could use a hand. Oh, please. Please help me. I'm, I'm losing blood. Oh, please save me. Come on. Damn it. I can't feel my leg. Mm. Keep pulling. I can feel it getting looser. Oh, oh. oh God. Oh, oh, you did it! Oh, oh, I, uh, I gotta get some scrap or, or something here. Oh, oh, mister, you, I thought I was gonna be, oh, go! Oh, oh, I thought I was gonna be a goner. Oh, you, you can take whatever you want from my pack for saving me. Oh. Here, this will help with the pain at least. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Uh, oh. Yes, yes. Oh. oh. <laughs> they have a field day over this back in town. Don't step in the trap again. Come on, the girl. Yeah. Hold up. <laughs> Legendary fish, huh? Easy. Whoa. You know, I've been having so much fun playing Red Dead Online and Red Dead. I think tomorrow, I don't usually have a, uh, uh, Easy now. 
It's just a standing chimney. But I stopped for it. Oh, I grab some wild carrots for the horse, too. But anyways, I usually don't have a scheduled, you know, scheduled uh, thing for tomorrow stream. I think I'm going to do some more uh, Red Dead Online tomorrow after work. So, I've just been having a blast playing recently. I uh, also make up for not being able to stream on Friday night. So, ooh, got Muckleberry as well. Got it. Damn, not perfect. You okay? Hell. You, you Hell. sick, partner? Uh, it, it's in Ooh. me. They're in me. You're not well, friend. Uh, butcher's grip. Butcher's grip. Where? Oh, Butcher's Crib! Is that where you're from? Butcher's Crib. You want me to take you back, or...? There ain't me. Uh, come on, let me get you home.
Butcher. Craig. Seems calmer now. I found him out in the woods. Oh, the mule, sweet the mule, such a nice man, such a good man. Come here, come on, come on. Here, up here, up here. Since the troubles began, he just he's not the same. It's in me. Why is he looking at me funny? Uh, no, he he's not well. It's 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 the darkness. It, he said it's the darkness. Who says it's the darkness? Well, the villagers. Well, thank you, sir. Thank, thank, thank you for lim- Please, please, sir. Then you are not well, sir. Uh, you got yeah. anything for me? Oh, yeah. Of course, sir. Love and friendship in darkness. What else are there? Obadiah Hinton, that's me. Love and friendship. Friendship and love. We're not a rich village, sir. But with love, rich. We thank you. Okay. Just trying not to run over any chickens. What I was doing. don't need to hunt deer. Tiny alligators. The frog. Hey, Sadie, I really can't. I must come. He's my husband. I know he's your husband, but it's going to be. Well, it's going to be violent. Well, better not take my rifle. There's a shotgun. I can handle myself just fine. I'm coming. Like I said, ain't happening. Then you got a boy. I insist. Insist all you like ain't happening. Arthur Taylor. Taylor what? She ain't coming with us to collect her husband. I... Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See, there you heard him. Now let's go. 
But, but nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Well, well, I ain't the crying sort, but I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know you are. We'll bring him back to you. Thank you. Thank you both. She does love him. That's the funny part. Right. Here goes nothing. The place is surrounded by marshland. Should hopefully give us a bit of cover to move in close enough to find a spot and look for John. This time of day, prisoners probably be working the fields. Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards and row our way out of there. Seems simple enough. How many times, Marston? <laughs> How many times, Marston? 